hello everyone welcome back to my channel again um, in this video I'm going to explain how to easily write your research proposal okay so there are several uh, articles and several uh, sources available in the internet or in the textbooks which tell you how to write a research proposal uh, and I've tried to simplify based on those different sources uh, in this particular uh, video so first of all, uh, we should know the concept of research proposal. So we all know that uh, a research proposal is a planned document that guides the overall research process. And it's a framework of procedures associated with the given methodology. Okay. So why it's important? Why a research proposal is important? Uh, so it's important because it provides a reason uh, why the research is needed. And it specifies the process, how the research will be carried out, the steps and all the methodology. And also it helps to uh, identify what information or data will be collected and how it will be used afterwards and also it prevents uh, future disagreements and confusions um, uh, so in order to bring consensus among different stakeholders a research proposal will be useful so who needs a research proposal first of all the research proposal is needed by the researchers themselves to guide uh, them throughout the process Similarly, the respective departments where the researchers work, so it may be the hospitals or the academic institutions, so where the researchers belong. Similarly, research proposal is needed by ethical approval agencies, for example, the research councils or the institutional review committees or ethical review boards to ensure that the research is ethically compliant or ethically standard. Similarly, a research proposal is also needed by the funding agencies who finance your research project. And also sometimes research proposal is asked by the respondents or the related institutions. Uh, they ask the brief background objective and implication of our research prior to giving consent for data collection. So these are the different people. But this is not the exclusive uh, list. Okay, So there may be other institutions that may be needing our research proposal. But basically these are the major stakeholders. Now this is the main uh, thing that I wanted to emphasize uh, so I have briefly developed uh, a timer approach in developing a research proposal okay so this is an approach that can be used to develop our research proposal so this has been developed by me uh, so timer is an abbreviated form of five different components so T stands for title I stands for introduction and objectives M stands for methodology, which includes the materials and methods. Similarly, E stands for expected outcomes, and R stands for references. So the templates and frameworks of the research proposal vary, but generally it includes these different components of research proposal. So let me go one by one on T, I, M, E, and R that constitutes timer. Okay. So T it stands for title. So title selection is a tricky step. So we shouldn't make it too long or too short okay so uh, a title is usually self-explanatory and it specifies the following so a title usually specifies the outcome of interest okay the variable that you will measure in the research similarly the place where you will do the research and also the target population whom you will be investigating okay for example uh, if you see this uh, article published in annals of internal medicine the title of the article is uh, Burnout and Suicidal Ideation Among U.S. Medical Students. So here, burnout and suicidal ideation is the outcome of interest that you want to measure in the research. Similarly, U.S. is the place and medical students is the target population. Okay, So these three components, if you uh, bear in mind, then your title can be an uh, easy one. Similarly, introduction, which is the second component of timer. So introduction usually involves uh, or it constitutes background of the study, similarly rationale or justification of the study, the objective of the study, okay, the main aim of the study. For example, um, your research title, if your research title is measurement of um, burnout and suicidal ideation, then your objective is to identify uh, the level of burnout and suicidal ideation among the medical students, okay. Similarly, the research questions or hypothesis, the main question or hypothesis you uh, you think the proposed study will answer or test. Similarly, the conceptual framework or theoretical framework, which is the illustration of your outcome in relation to the explanatory variables, and also the operational definition of the key terms. For example, 
uh, in that particular title what do the terms burnout mean and uh, how you will measure suicidal ideation okay so these are the different terms you have to operationally define those terms so the introduction component usually involves these different elements another part is methodology which is the third component of timer so methodology is uh, also called materials and methods in the study so it usually involves design of the study so whether your study is interventional or observational whether your study is cross-sectional or longitudinal whether it's descriptive or analytical whether it's qualitative or quantitative or uh, mixed method study similarly uh, the study published in unit of analysis uh, so what different subjects or what type of participants uh, will be used under the study whether you'll be using the community people or the hospital patients or school students okay similarly what is the sampling procedure and what is the sample size okay so how you will choose the sample whether you will choose uh, randomly or you will choose purposively or consecutively and how you will recruit them okay in what number so sample size is also uh, necessary in the proposal similarly the variables okay the the different uh, dependent and independent variables or even the confounders if any you need to specify in the methodology section Similarly, the data collection plan, okay, data collection plan involves the tools and techniques to collect the data. For example, whether you'll be doing the interview or whether you'll be doing um, observation, review of the records or clinical assessment, okay. So, these different data collection tools and techniques need to be specified. Similarly, data analysis plan. So, you have to specify how you'll analyze both the quantitative and qualitative data. For example, in quantitative data analysis, you use the bivariate and multivariate statistics similarly for qualitative data you might be using thematic analysis or verbatim transcription so these different uh, data analysis techniques you, you need to specify in your proposal okay similarly validity and reliability measures so uh, you have to explain how you will ensure the consistency and accuracy of the tool being used in the study and also some of the ethical issues you need to specify in your proposal how you will ensure that the ethical standards are met okay whether or not you will uh, take the informed consent whether or not you will apply for ethical approval in certain uh, regulatory agencies uh, or IRB or review committees etc and also uh, you can specify if you see any uh, limitations in your study uh, for example what are the potential limitations do you foresee or do you uh, think that your study will have and what are the potential bias that your study uh, um, will probably have so you can uh, include them uh, in the methodology section okay another part is expected outcome which is the fourth component of timer uh, which is E so uh, you know that the real outcomes will arrive when the research is completed okay but in the proposal you can state what you can uh, what you anticipate or what you expect out of your research for example um, the level of burnout and suicidal ideation among the medical students will be found out which will help identify uh, different type of stressors among the medical students uh, the correlation between different burnout and uh, suicidal ideation similarly the prevention strategies to prevent burnout and suicidal tendencies uh, viable recommendations to concern authorities such as medical colleges hospital parents as well as the student themselves to prevent as well as cope up with the growing stress so these are the different expected outcomes uh, that you think that your study will generate okay so you can include them uh, in your proposal so it may not be a compulsory uh, heading or compulsory uh, topic but uh, it's recommended that you also write the expected outcome in your proposal that will help you um, do your research accordingly in a very uh, systematic manner and the last but not the least the references okay so you might have already heard about the term site when you write okay so the references includes the sources that you refer to while writing the proposal and this should be properly uh, cited in your research proposal uh, so there are different techniques to do referencing the most commonly used techniques are Vancouver style which is a number style and APA style which is author and year style okay and referencing can be done either manually or by the use of software such as uh, Mendeley which is free of cost, Jotero which is also free there are other paid uh, referencing software such as EndNote um, and many others um, so so referencing is also very important uh, that you need to do while developing your proposal so this is it guys T I M E and R so T stands for uh, title I stands for introduction M stands for me methodology E stands for expected outcome and R stands for references. 
so you can uh, further visit the different websites <coughs> so these are the uh, different sites that I particularly liked and uh, followed while uh, preparing this presentation but the approach uh, the, this timer approach is developed by me I uh, hope to get your constructive feedback and if you like the video please uh, um, uh, please like this video and also share it with your colleagues and also if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe thank you and see you in the next tutorial bye bye cheers